going on YouTube. The assist man, and yes, I am coming back at you guys with another Neverwinter YouTube video. Inside of this video, man, what I want to talk about is some rare fashion pieces. Some really hard to get and some pretty rare fashion pieces. You know, it's made for the guy who has everything else. You know, you say you got all rank 14s. You say you got all unparalleled weapon and armor enchantments. You got five legendary companions. You got the best gear in the game. You got legendary mount. And you're looking for something else to spend your money on that's going to set you apart from the crowd. Well, then I got something in store for you. And no, it is not a toothsome skin fur jacket, but it's close enough. So if you guys do enjoy this video, man, don't forget to hit that thumbs up like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Subscribing to my channel is absolutely free. So why not do it? So anyway, man, let's go ahead and get on in the video. Now, over the years of Neverwinter, we've always had like, you know, transmutes and fashion sets and stuff like that come to the game. And some of them have been moderately easy to obtain. Other ones have been pretty difficult to obtain, and some of them have been pretty hard to obtain. But this new one that got introduced seems that it's like really, really hard to obtain. And I don't personally think a lot of people actually even know about it or know it exists. And it is called the Fool's Set. Basically, there is a Fool's Fancy Slippers, there is a Fool's Fancy Hat, and there is a Fool's Fancy Robe, aka the Tooth Skin or the Toothsome Skin Fur Jacket. That's what I'm going to call that thing. And the only way to obtain these things was to get them out of an event that we just had pass about a week or two ago. And that was the Timora's event. Now, here's the weird thing. Obviously, if you ran the Timora's event, you got, in your inventory, some of these gifts of Timora's. Now, it says on the gift of Timora, it says you have discovered an enchanted gift of Timora containing a boon from the gods. And it says this box contains one of the following. And this is what's weird. It says you get... The Fool's Crown of Neverwinter, which has been in the game for forever. It's like a little golden crown you put on your head. It also says you can get a Timora's Lucky Coin. It also says you can get a Timora's Lucky Enchantment. It says you can get Rough Astral Diamonds. It says you can get a Favor of Timora. And then it says you can get Uncommon, Rare, and Epic Profession Resources. But that's all it says. Which I found out is weird because this box, this gift of Timora that you open up is actually much better than what the tooltip describes. I mean, we all know that Neverwinter has always been, you know, have tons of broken tooltips and misleading tooltips in the game. So, you know, this is just another one because you can get way more out of these gift of Timora boxes. For instance, one of the things you can get that basically it doesn't say you can get in here is this right here that I got. It's called a coin storm. And it says summons a mini coin storm that will follow you around. Now the weird thing about this coin storm thing is it's not something that can be equipped to your potion tray. And I think that that is a bug. Because any other time you can equip things like this to your potion tray. For instance, like I have the wand of wonders equipped to my potion tray. You should be able to equip this to your potion tray, but you can't. And basically what this coin storm does is what it says. It summons a mini coin storm around you that will follow you around. And it just basically has like little coins that follow you around when you stand there. It's, you know, one of those cosmetic things. I don't really care for it, but you can get it in there. Another thing that you can get from this Gift of Timora box that you open that you obtain during the Gift of Timora event that is not listed on the, uh, you know, the contents is this artifact. And if you go to the Termaloon Trade House, you could search for it under equipment. It is called the Timora Spinning Coin Artifact. And here it is right here. And there's a bunch of them listed on the auction house. Now, me personally, I pulled about 
five or six of these things and I didn't equip it and I sold them all for about 90,000, 100,000. So a little bit more than what they're going for now, but you could see its use effect and it didn't seem like it was all that good to me. So I wasn't going to equip it. I'd rather just sell them. But this is something else that you get out of that Timora's gift box that is not listed under the contents, which is really, really weird. Now, those are just a couple of things that you can get that are not listed under the contents of the box. But and staying on topic, the main thing that we're talking about in this video is the most rarest, most hard to get fashion items in the entire game. And like I said before, if you look at the contents of the Gift of Timora box, it does not say you can get them. Now, a lot of people know about these, but a lot of people don't even know about these. And if you want to see what they look like, you can go to the Termaloon Trade House and where to find these at is you go to fashion and then you type in fools or you could just type in fool. Then you search. And there is three different pieces, like I said before. There is the Fool's Fancy Crown of Neverwinter, which is a hat. There is the Fool's Robes of Neverwinter, which is the toothsome, toothsome skin fur jacket. And then you have the Fool's Slippers of Neverwinter, which are some pants and some shoes. Now... The thing is, is that if you look at these fool slippers of Neverwinter, these fool's robes of Neverwinter, and this fool's fancy crown of Neverwinter, it doesn't say you can obtain these things from the Gift of Timora packs. But that is the only way you can get them. That's where they come out of. Now, I have opened up, probably about a week or two ago, I opened up close to a thousand of these. A thousand! And that's how I got some of those Timora spinning coins. That's how I got this coin storm. And that is how I got some of the fashion items. Yes, I was able to obtain them out of the boxes. So you got the Fool's Robe of Neverwinter, the Fool's Slipper of Neverwinter, and I actually did get two of the Fool's Crown of Neverwinter, but I actually sold them because I didn't really like the way it looked too much. But as a matter of fact, I kind of did like the way it looked. It's kind of weird, but I'm going to show you what all this stuff looks like real fast. So going back to fashion, going to full search in the, the trade house, you could see here the fool's fancy crown of Neverwinter. And what this thing basically looks like is a pimp hat. It looks like an old school pimp hat. And I'm going to show it to you right now. If you go to inspect and preview, there it is on my character. So actually, it looks kind of cool. I kind of regret selling it. And I think I kind of want one back now to wear it. Because, yeah, man, it's like a brimmed, like, old-school detective or, like, pimp hat. And the cool thing about it is you can wear it on a Dragonborn. And most things you can't wear on Dragonborns, but it looks really, really cool. So, I might actually pick up another one of these things and buy one. So, yeah, so that's what the Fool's hat looks like. Now, since I do have the Fool's fancy slippers and the Fool's toothsome skin jacket... In my inventory, I'm going to show you what those look like as well. So here's the full slippers of Neverwinter. Now, all of these items are like red and black or red, black, and white. And that's another reason why I personally like them as well. Because those are my favorite colors. Those are my Assist Man logo colors. That's what I have everything in. And so on and so forth. So let's preview these full slippers of Neverwinter to see what they look like. So when you preview them, there you go. It looks like some like... um like a satin kind of like sweatpants almost, dress pants, but they have red uh, stitching going down them. And then the shoes are black with red straps on them to match the other thing. So you see, I still have the hat on right now. And um, they look pretty cool. It's actually one of the only pants in the game that I can remember that actually has multiple colors on it because you have the black with the red stitching. Now, like any other fashion item in the game, you can dye these to whatever color you want. So if red and black is not your thing, you want it to go with like red and white or pink and white or blue and black or whatever other color you want. You just got to get the specific dyes and dye the items and you could dye them to whatever color that fits the character that you are trying to put them on. So the pants my opinion look pretty cool the hat actually looks a lot better than I thought it did and like I said I kind of regret selling them I might have to go ahead and get a few more of them and then finally let's look at what I think is the coolest thing in the entire game 
and it's, like I said, all of these items are pretty rare. I opened up close to a thousand of these Timora, these Gift of Timora boxes, and I only got four of them. I got one of the robes, one of the pants, and two of the hats. Now, the robes look amazing. It seriously looks like some old school pimp, like smoking jacket, like some U Hefner Playboy type stuff, and it has some toothsome skin fur along the collar. Are you guys ready to see how cool this thing looks? Let's, let's check it out. Bam! Look at that. It's an all red, like, like, like single breasted jacket with a sick ass belt with a little like sunburst insignia on it. The arms come with it. It's got some toothsome skin, some fur around it with polka dots. I mean, this thing looks incredible. Look at the back of the belt. It's got like chrome rivets on it. Tell me this thing does not look dope. Now, this is the entire set all together. So, this is the fool's fancy hat with the fool's fancy robes and the fool's fancy pants, slippers, boots, whatever you want to call it. So this is the way the entire thing looks together. So you kind of have like that dirty Harry, like 1970s feel to the whole entire set. I don't know. To me, it looks dope. I love it. But personally, I really, really, really love the chest piece, man. The robes, the fool's fancy robes look amazing. And the crazy thing is, these things are pretty moderately cheap right now if you want to, I mean, they're not cheap, obviously, they're hundreds of thousands of AD, but, you know, a couple weeks ago when these things first came out, they were selling for one, two million each. And is that a lot of money? Yeah, but at the same time, like I said, these are like the most rarest things in the game. They are the most rarest fashion items in the game. The only way you can get them is by getting them from the Gift of Timora. It doesn't even say you get them on there, but you do. Promise me. I mean, I promise you. Trust me. You do. That's the only way to get these things. They come out of here, even though it doesn't say it. And um, they're not easy to get. I've seen that it's about 1 in 250 to 1 in 300 odds of getting these things. So, yeah, that's how you get them. Now, you also get lots of other good, you know, good stuff out of the gift of Ty Morris. You know, you get rough astral diamonds. I opened up tons of them and got 10,000 rough astral diamonds in one. You get tons of profession stuff out of them. You can get, like, uh, unified elements and broken dragon eggs. And things that still sell for a lot of money on the auction house. So you can get a lot of good things out of these Gift of Time Moras. I still have about 500 of them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell them or hold on to them. Um, usually, you know me, I like to hold on to things till they become more rare and more expensive. And uh, yeah, the Gift of Time Moras are not coming back anytime soon. So I might hold on to these for a while. Or I might just open them and try to get more of the fashion pieces. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, like I said in this video, man, I just wanted to show you guys what I consider is the most rarest fashion items in all of the game. Um, it's the full set. You find it by going to fashion, typing in full, and hitting search. You can see there are not many on the auction house. There are 30 total items listed. There's a couple crowns, a couple pants, and a couple robes. And um, yeah, that's really about it. There's not many of these things listed. And I actually did um, buy a pair of slippers that somebody listed on the auction house for cheap like two weeks ago. And I recently sold them for like 500000 AD, so they still do go for a lot of money, and they will continuously go for a lot of money because you can't get them anymore, and the only way you can get them is out of the Timora's um, lockbox thing. But, you know, then again, it has to be your cup of tea, you know? It has to be something that, you know, you're into, that you're like... Do you like fashion stuff in the game? Do you want to have some of the, of, or if not, the rarest fashion items in the game? And do you like the way that this looks? You know, maybe you just want the hat. Maybe you just want the robes. Maybe you just want the pants. Or maybe you want all of it. Me, personally, I'm definitely going to be keeping this robe, and I probably, you know, put that on, and I don't even know if I'm going to dye it. But anyway, that's just this review and talking, telling you guys about this, because I know a lot of people has, have asked me, where do you get this fool's fashion stuff from? Well, it only comes from the Gift of Time Mora boxes that you got during the past event we had a few weeks ago. So anyway, man, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's more of on a positive side video, because me, normally I complain a lot, so this is a little bit more positive for you guys, if you're into that kind of thing. So anyway, YouTube, this is the Assist Man, and until next time, I am out.